students from Oakton High School. Colton Arms. And Poolsville meet today on It's Academic. Hello, everybody. I'm Hillary Howard, and welcome to It's Academic, produced by Altman Productions in association with David M. Rubenstein Productions. Support for It's Academic has been provided by the following. MITRE, a not-for-profit research and development company working in the public interest. The world is full of challenges. And at MITRE, we're committed to solving them. From aviation and health, to cyber, in national security, our people know we are called to do more. MITRE, solving problems for a safer world. And now it's time to meet the teams. We begin with Oakton High School from Vienna, Virginia. Rishi, Nafe, Adrian. Hey guys, good to have you here with us today. Hello. Hi. From Holton Arm School in Bethesda. Sophia, Caroline, Claire, great to have you on It's Academic. Hi. Hi. Hello. And from Poolsville High School in Poolsville, Maryland, Meredy, Kevin, and Vera, great to have you with us today. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hey, well, now, of course, we're going to begin this opening round. And in the opening round, questions are worth 20 points, nothing off for a wrong answer. Oakton, you're up. Good luck, Rishi, Nafe, and Adrian. Here's your first question. Clean a cat last. Hidden in this clean phrase is the name of what mythical titan condemned to hold up the heavens on his shoulders? Uh, Atlas? Atlas. Referring, uh, yeah, Atlas. Yeah, Atlas. Atlas it is. Our national flower, line of seats. These phrases should clue you into a pair of words that are spelled differently but pronounced in what same way? Answer, please. In three, two. Collarbones? Nope, it's rose. Rose, the flower, and rose in a stadium. If you add the right letters here, you will form what new word, identifying the 16th century religious revolution sparked by Martin Luther? Uh, the Reformation? Yes. Yeah, Reformation. Yeah. Hot coffee, hard cash. These are the names of real towns in what southern state whose capital city has the more familiar name of Jackson? Florida? Mississippi. Mississippi. Sorry, Mississippi. 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 Yeah, Mississippi. Okay. Glad you got there. It's Mississippi. Humanity has won its battle. Liberty now has a country. These words about America were written by what French nobleman who had come to our aid during the Revolutionary War? Uh, conferring Lafayette? I, I believe so. so. Lafayette. Yeah, it's Lafayette. Nice job, Oakton High School, 180 points. Holton Arms, you are up. Sophia, Caroline, Claire, here we go. The spell is broken. You can cast your own spell if you find in this sentence the name of what New York Island wants a center for arriving immigrants. Conferring, Ellis. Yep. Yeah. Answer, Ellis. Yes. Ball that's not fair, chicken or duck. These definitions fit what two words that sound alike but have different spellings? Conferring foul. Foul. No. Yep. Answer foul. Foul is correct. Blank cross, blank falls. To identify a British military decoration and a major African waterfall, fill in both blanks with the name of what 19th century British queen? Conferring Victoria? Yep. yep. Answer Victoria. It is Victoria. Egg yolk, fried egg. Both of these terms are used to refer to a yellow jellyfish found in the Yellow Sea, which borders what politically divided Asian peninsula? Conferring Korean? Yeah, Korean. Answer yes. Korean? Yes, yes. Never for the sake of peace and quiet deny your convictions. These were the words of Dag Hammarskjöld, an early secretary general of what international peacekeeping organization? I'm conferring the United Nations. 
and to the United Nations. The United Nations is right. Holt in arms. Nice job, 200 points. Poolsville, you're up. Meredith, Kevin, Vera, here's your first question. An emu learns. Find within this phrase what four-footed stubborn animal that is the mascot at West Point. Conferring mule. Yeah. Yes. Mule directed. Yes. Part of a circle, Noah's ship. Here are clues to what two words that sound alike but have different spellings. Conferring arc. arc. Yes. Arc directed. Arc it is. Put some uh, letters arc. around this put. And you'll name what Russian monk who had extraordinary influence over the last Tsar and Tsarina. Conferring Rasputin. Conferring Rasputin. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. Rasputin directed. Yes. Yeah. Elephant Butte. Hungry Horse. These animal-oriented names have been given to what man-made structures, such as the Grand Coulee and the Aswan? Conferring dam. Oh, that makes sense. Yes, yes. Dam directed. Yes, it does make sense because it is right. She makes love work. This is a quote about what nun who won the 1979 Nobel Peace Prize for her work with the sick and poor of India. Conferring Mother Teresa. Yeah. yeah. Mother Teresa directed. Yeah, Mother Teresa is right. Great job, Poolsville. 200 points. And that's the opening round. Picture perfect round next. I'm David Rubenstein. From the Kennedy Center and the National Archives to the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, I've been pleased to support many important organizations and historic sites linked to American history, art, culture, education, and more. I believe giving back to our country isn't just an idea. It's an action, a patriotic action that involves all of us. And it begins with education and learning about our nation's past so that we, the people, can make a more perfect union for the future. We can do it together. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. Now it's time to play the picture perfect round. In this round, answers are worth 20 points up or down, 10 points if you pass. Oakton, you're up. Here's the first picture. This painting shows George Washington and his troops on their way to what site where they spent a cold winter in 1777 and 78. Uh, confirming Valley uh, Forge. Valley Forge? Yeah. yeah. Valley Forge. Valley Forge is right. A great teacher, but unfortunately it kills all its pupils. Composer Hector Berlioz was referring here to what concept that scientists refer to as the fourth dimension. Uh, conferring time. 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 Yes. This stamp honors President Andrew Johnson, who offered amnesty to Confederates willing to support what constitutional amendment that abolished slavery? Uh, conferring 15th. 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 I'm sorry, answer? 14th. Uh, yeah, 13th. 13th. Yeah, 13th. 13th. It's the 13th. Tell me your answer. 13th. 13th. Really glad you got there because it is right. 240 points, Oakton. Holt in arms, it's your chance to play. So uh, let's do this, guys. Here's your first picture. This Courier and Ives print shows a fisherman cutting through the ice to find what freshwater fish that comes in rainbow and brook varieties? Conferring trout. Trout. Yep. <laughs> Answer trout. It's trout. The town that hatched the Thirty Years' War. An English writer once used this phrase to refer to what city that is now the capital of the Czech Republic? Conferring. Prague. Prague. Yeah. Answer Prague. Prague is correct. My cousin once gave me a shirt that said Prague. Check it out. I thought it was very clever. <laughs> Here you see the gate of what Roman emperor whose name is also given to a wall in Britain? Conferring. Hadrian. Answer, Hadrian. Hadrian is right, and Holton, that means you have a score of 260 points. Next up in the picture, perfect round, Poolsville High School. Here's your first picture. An ostrich can not only run at 40 miles an hour, but a kick from one of its powerful legs can kill what kind of large, wild feline known as uh, the king of the beasts? Conferring, Conferring lion. lion. Yeah. Yeah, I think Lion it directed. Lion it is. Can you imagine these guys taking down a lion? Americans have a lively faith in the perfectibility of man. 
This was the observation of Alexis de Tocqueville after visiting the U.S. during the administration of what seventh president? Seven is Monroe, or is it? No, because it's, is it Adam, Quincy Adams? I need an answer. Okay. Uh, Quince, John Quincy Adams directed. Nah, Andrew Jackson. Civil War General William T. Sherman had what middle name honoring a Native American chief? Deferring Tecumseh. Deferring Tecumseh? Yeah. yeah. Tecumseh directed. Yep, it was Tecumseh. Well done, Poolsville. You're at 220 points. That's it for the Picture Perfect round. In just a minute, we'll learn more about these amazing students when we dive into the packet round. But first, here's something pretty interesting. Hello, I'm David Rubenstein. Did you know that the story of Cinderella and her glass slipper originated in China, where tiny feet have traditionally been considered a sign of beauty? The Chinese story differs from the Western version in many ways, but love still wins in the end, as it should. I'm David Rubenstein, reminding you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. So we've reached halftime, which of course means the packet round. As you know, in this round, correct answers are worth 20 points, nothing off for a wrong answer, and if you get every answer right, 25 point bonus. Team one, you are up. But before we dive in, we'd like to know more about you. So Oakton High School, Rishi, you're the captain. We'll start with you. Tell us about yourself. I'm a senior at Oakton. Um, I've been doing Scholastic Bowl for four years, and I've been on the team since my freshman year, and um, trivia is one of my passions. Um, and I, I love Jeopardy and quiz shows like that, so. You think you'll be on Jeopardy next? Hopefully. <laughs> All right, well, it's great to have you back here, Rishi. Um, Nafe, tell us about yourself. I am a senior at Oakton, and this is my first year on Scholastic Bowl because I was <clears throat> drafted by Dr. Fernandez <laughs> after spending a, quite a lot of time in a room without being a part of her class. <laughs> uh-huh, but that was good, right? Now you're here. Now I'm here. Yeah, all right. Well, great to have you as part of the team, Nafe. Adrian, what should we know about you? Uh, I am a sophomore at Oakton High School. This is my second year on the team, and I feel that this is a really fun like, club to be in, and there's a lot of good people here. Yeah, well, you're good people, and we're glad to have you as a part of this today. So thanks for being here. So now that we finished the introductions, let's dive into the questions, Oakton. Iron in their diets forms an orange-colored enamel on the teeth of what large dam building rodents who gnaw down trees? Uh, conferring beavers. Conferring beavers. Yeah. beavers. yeah, answer beavers. Yes. Both the United States and what South American nation have names beginning with the letter U? Uh, uh, conferring Uruguay. 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 Answer Uruguay. Correct. Here's your science question. Seaweed, mushrooms, diatoms. Which of these does not carry on photosynthesis? Uh, conferring mushrooms. Yeah. yeah. Answer, mushrooms? Yeah. Four Wings and a Prayer is the title of Sue Halpern's book about the monarch variety of what lepidopterous insect? Conferring butterfly. butterfly. Yeah, butterfly. Yeah, answer, butterfly. Yeah. Alice in Wonderland is full of magical creatures, including what cat that performs a disappearing act, leaving behind only its smile? Conferring, uh, conferring the Cheshire, Cheshire cat? Yeah. 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 Answer, the Cheshire cat? Yeah. Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. Uh, conferring one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Answer one. one. Yes. Henri Christophe created the titles Duke of Marmalade and Duchess of Lemonade when he ruled what French-speaking Caribbean nation whose capital is Port-au-Prince? Conferring Haiti. Mm. Uh, I think, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Answer Haiti. The answer is Haiti. And with that answer, you have gotten a 25-point bonus, Oakton, and a score of 405 points. Woo! Time to meet the team from Holton Arms School. Uh, Sophia, we're going to start with you since you're the captain. Tell us your age, your year, and what we should know about you. I'm Sophia. I'm a 16-year-old junior. And when I'm not practicing for its academic, of course, I'm captaining my school softball team. <laughs> Fabulous. Well, it's great to have you here, Sophia. Caroline, what should we know about you? Hi, I'm Caroline. I am also a 16-year-old junior. And I did rhythmic gymnastics for eight years, but now I spend my time in the dance studio with my school's dance ensemble. Nice. Well, it's good to have you here, Caroline. And last but not least, hello, Claire. What are you up to? Hi, I'm Claire. I'm a 16-year-old I'm a sophomore, and one of my favorite hobbies is fencing. 
Oh, no, I've always wanted to fence. I just think that's so cool. Uh, you have to think and it's be really aggressive. Fun. You should start. <laughs> I might. I might. One day I will. I'll let you know if I finally embark on that. And now we can embark on this packet round, shall we? Here's your first question. The 17th century writer Thomas Brown denounced as vain glory what huge geometric structures built as tombs for ancient Egyptian pharaohs. Conferring pyramids? Yep. That's Ample the answer. Pyramids? Yeah. Because of the many microchip-based businesses there, an area of California is popularly called what valley, referring to the element with a symbol S-I. Conferring silicon? Silicon. Yep. Silicon, it silicon? Is. Here is your science question. Plankton, hyacine, mitochondria. Which of these terms refers to tiny, often microscopic forms of plant and animal life that live in the oceans and are an important food source for many aquatic creatures? Conferring first choice? I think so. Mm -hmm. Answer first choice? Plankton is correct. In July 1943, more than 180,000 Allied troops invaded what largest Italian island and occupied the capital city, Palermo. Conferring. Um, I think that's Sicily. Sicily? Yeah, that's right. You thought right. It's Sicily. Sicily. Yeah. Multiple book titles by Frank Herbert include what word referring to a single hill of sand? Conferring. Dune? Yep. It's and Dune. For Dune. Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. Conferring 50? 50? Like, sure. Answer 50? Yes, it is. When the mythical Phaeton drove the sun's chariot too close to the earth, he created a desert in what North African country where Tripoli is capital? Conferring. That's Libya. Libya. Answer Libya. Yeah, and you know what that means, Holton Arms? You got a 25-point bonus. Beautiful. And a score of 425 points. Let's meet the team from Poolsville High School. Hey, Meredy, what are you up to these days? Hi, I'm Meredy. I'm 17, and I'm a senior at Poolsville. And in my free time, I'm a volunteer archivist. Beautiful. And where are you an archivist? So it's it's actually an thing with the Library of Congress where you digitally transcribe documents so that they can be searched for and accessible when a computer can't read the text. That is so cool. Kevin, tell us your age, your year, and what you like to do. Hello, uh, I'm Kevin. I'm 18. I'm a senior. Uh, outside of Quiz Bowl, I'm on our Debate and History Bowl teams, and in my free time, I'm working on a fantasy novel. Really? Free do you have a working title? Uh, right now, the title is The Sky Elf. All right. Well, it's really great to have you. I look forward to reading it when it's finished, Kevin. And last but not least, Vera. Hello, Vera. What are you up to? Hi, I'm Vera. I'm 17 and I'm a senior at Pulsal High School. Um, in my free time, I like researching reptiles. You know, my husband makes me change the channel if a snake is on. <laughs> Swear. <laughs> <laughs> well, power to you. Snakes are fascinating. Great to have all of you here. And now I'm really happy to ask you some questions in this packet round. Meredith, Kevin, Vera, here we go. According to myth, singing apples that could persuade anyone to do anything were guarded by a three-headed dragon in what largest African desert? Uh, conferring Sahara. Yeah. yeah, it must be. Sahara directed? Yes. A 23-year-old slave named York accompanied what two men who led the expedition to explore the Louisiana Territory in the early 1800s? Conferring Lewis Conferring and Clark. Conferring Lewis and Clark? Yeah. Lewis yes. and Clark, answer? Correct. Here's your science question. Red shift, redox reaction, refractive index. Which of these terms refers to the lengthening of light wavelengths and is regarded as evidence that the universe is expanding? Conferring refractive Conferring index? Conferring yeah. no. I think it's what redox think reaction. Oh, um, gonna, or I'm maybe gonna redshift, you, like, actually. Can you give me one answer, know, I please? Guess, uh, redshift directed. Oh, I'm so glad you said that because it is the right answer. <laughs> if a Frenchman wanted to visit a friend in Barcelona, he'd have to cross what mountain range that separates France and Spain? Conferring Pyrenees? Yes. Yeah. Pyrenees is right. Not all relatives are kindly, and especially not what big relative who is always watching you in George Orwell's novel, 1984. 
Big Brother. Big Brother. Brother. Yep. Big Brother directed. Big Brother is right. Math question. Solve for y if x equals 3. y equals 10. It's negative Confirm. 10. Yeah. No, it would be uh, negative 10. Yes. Yes, you're right. You're right. Oh, no, you're right. It's no, 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 you're right. It's 10. No, no. No, it's negative 10. Oh, it's negative 10. Negative 10, <laughs> negative 10 corrected. <laughs> Negative, yes, very good. It is negative 10. <laughs> Here we go. Transylvania. Count Dracula's traditional home is now a section of what Eastern European country whose capital is Bucharest? Conferring Romania. Conferring Romania. Yeah. Romania directed. Yes. Romania is right. And, you know, I wasn't sure you were going to get there, but you pulled it out with a 25-point bonus. Great job, Poolsville. 385 points. What a round. Each of these teams winning a 25-point bonus. It was amazing. Now we'll see what they bring to the lightning round. In this round, you've got 45 seconds to answer up to 10 questions. They're worth 20 points up or down. No penalty if you pass. Team one, you're up. Oakton, ready to play with lightning? Here we go. Rishi, Nafe, and Adrian. All your answers must begin with the letters C-O-R as in cork. In three, two, one. This vegetable is sometimes referred to as maize. Corn. Yes, corn, this corn. part of the human eye is frequently transplanted. Cornea. Yes, Cornea. this is Cornea. the outermost part of the sun's atmosphere. Corona. Yes, this island was Napoleon's birthplace. Corsica. Yes, and Napoleon Corsica. himself was known as the little this. Colonel? Pass. Corporal. Yeah. No. This yeah. Ivy League university is located in Ithaca, New York. Cornell. Yes, these arteries supply blood to the heart. Coral. Yes, these tiny sea creatures from form tropical reefs. Coral. Yes, Coral. the Aztecs were defeated by this Spanish conquistador. Cortez. Yes, this nickname. Oh, there's the buzzer, but I'll finish the question. This nickname is given to residents of Nebraska. The answer is corn huskers. But Oakton, you did really well without it. 565 points. Way to go. All right, team two, Holt in arms. You're up for the lightning round. Sophia, Caroline, Claire, here we go. All your answers must begin with the letters C-O-N as in con. In three, two, one. This is the governing document of the United States. Constitution. Yes, Constitution. these governing articles were in place before the Constitution. Confederation. Yes, Confederation. it is Confederation. through this vacuole that some protozoans expel liquid. Answer. Yeah. Contractile. This type of covered wagon was named for a town of Pennsylvania. Conestoga. Yes, this soaring bird is also called the New World Vulture. <sighs> um, Condor. This is yeah. the southernmost New England state. Connecticut. Connecticut. Yes, this type of divide separates an area's river systems. Continental. Yes, Continental. pythons and boas are this type of snake that crushes prey. Constrictor. Yes. Constrictor. Oh, there is the buzzer. Holton Arms, nice job getting through that round. You've got 545 points. Team three from Poolsville High School, ready for the lightning round? Meredith, Kevin, Vera, here we go. All your answers must begin with the letters C A R as in car. In three, two, one. He was our 39th president. Carter. Yes, yeah. this scientist found many new uses for peanuts. Carver. Yes, yeah. this is the capital city of Wales. Cardiff. Yes, Cardiff. she wrote Silent Spring. Carson. Carson. Yes, yeah. these caverns Carson. are a New Mexico tourist attraction. Pass. Carlsbad. Pass. This is the capital of Venezuela. Caracas. Yes, this Caracas. is the hard upper shell of a turtle. Pass. Carapace. Carapace. This is the MLB team from St. Louis. Cardinals. Cardinals. Yes, yeah. this is another name for a reindeer. Caribou? Yes, yeah. diamonds are a solid form of this. Oh, and there we go. Diamonds are a solid form of this element. The answer is carbon. Right. You know what, Poolsville? You did such a great job. 525 points. Well, that was exciting. We're going to have the official scores next. I'm David Rubenstein, and I believe giving back is something we all can do. Students are getting involved in their communities in many important ways. I've asked them to share with us how they're making a difference. Hi, my name is Sachini Adhikari. I'm a current senior at Montgomery Blair High School, and the most meaningful organization to me is Project DCC. Project Down County Consortium is an organization that works to make sure all students in Montgomery County, Maryland are represented. We help students with scholarships, college applications, and ensure that all students have a voice in the county's student government association. 
I hope all students are able to find an organization that is as meaningful as Project DCC is to me. Like these students, you too can help improve the lives of so many people by volunteering in your town and community. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. The scores are now official. We begin with Poolsville High School from Poolsville, Maryland. Meredy Kevin Vera, 525 points. And congratulations to Holton Arms from Bethesda, Maryland. Sophia, Caroline, and Claire, 545 points. And coming back for the playoffs, Oakton High School from Vienna, Virginia, Rishi, Nafe, and Adrian, 565 points. That's it uh, for today. Let's hear it for our incredible teams and you, our incredible viewers. Really happy you could join us today and match wits with our very impressive students. Support for It's Academic has been provided by the following. MITRE, a not-for-profit research and development company working in the public interest. At MITRE, we're committed to solving some of our biggest challenges in national security, cyber, aviation, and health. And our dedication to service starts at home, working to fight hunger, serving people in need, protecting public health, and supporting our civic institutions. This is serving the public. This is MITRE, solving problems for a safer world. Please join us next week when we've got DeMatha, Langley, and Loudoun County High Schools competing right here on It's Academic. I'm Hillary Howard. See you then. Bye, everybody. I'm David Rubenstein, reminding you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference.